of course, if you look at my other videos, you'll see I went from welfare to self-employment, right? Okay. There was a time when I went down to, to the welfare people told me to come and they did ask me some questions about my uh, children's father. Of course, they're going to ask you that. And so I knew a little bit, right? So I told them what I knew, right? So the lady, my social worker, she said, um, she called me and she said, well, I contacted so-and-so, this number that you gave me, you know, yada, yada, yada. And the person said that they don't have children by that name. And I said, ma'am, I said, you, you did what? Because <laughs> see, that what got me. I said, so this person told you that they don't have children by that name. That was a light bulb for me. That was it. I told that lady, I said, don't call no more. That's all the information that I have. I said, can I get this help from welfare without him? Like, I'm trying to go around him at this point because I'm like, I have no more information for you concerning him. And if someone is going to say that he don't know those children clearly when you know them, then let's can we leave him out because I'm I'm not fighting for him. I'm I'm fighting for my kids right now. You see what I'm saying? So that was a that was, that's why I said, you know, we we spend a lot of time fighting for these men to get locked up or child support or whatever whatever. Nah. No, 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 no. I'm going to take care give me what I need from welfare to help me take care of my kids. I'm not worrying about this joker. You know what I'm saying? I am trying to get help so I can help myself so I can raise these kids. And that's what I did. And when I tell y'all, I never look back. My children's father, wherever he at, rest his soul, wherever in peace or whatever, he can never say I asked him for one dime because I didn't. Because I didn't have to. And I didn't want to. Because if you can tell somebody, I don't care who call you, if they mention your children's name that you know that I gave birth to because you was there, and you say you don't know them kids, then I'm out. I don't know you either. And it's the hurtful things that men really do to women that done bear their children. And it's like, oh my God. So I'm here to tell you women, stay strong. Stay strong as you can because them children need you. Them children need you more than the men. The men, they're going to go to Sally house, Susie house, and they're going to help them with their kids. And they're going to act like they, that you ain't got no kids by them. But you know you got your kids. You And listen, you take care of your kids to the best of your ability. Get that plan. Get that budget. Get, get help. Okay? Because when you make those sacrifices and you make that decision that I'm not going to be following behind nobody because the time it takes to follow behind somebody, you could be farther ahead. I did that and it worked for me. My story is not your story, but I am your sister and I am here to encourage. That's what I do. And I will tell the truth. I will tell snippets of my truth, you know, but I'm not here to bash nobody because one thing about me. God got me through my situation, right? I'm not bitter. I'm not unhappy. You know, I will always love my children's uh, father because he was in my life so hard that I had all of my kids with him. So how can I not love this man? I have godly love for him. I have enough love for him to not scrutinize his name in public or, or bash him. Because that's not that's not what I do. Because when you look at me and you look at my successful children, who we mad at? We ain't mad at nobody. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying. If you can get past your hurt, sisters, and if you can get past your pain of being left to be a single parent home, then you're gonna make it. I promise to God that's the key, and that's the that is the two keys to success. Get past the pain and the hurt of the of the person who you are mad at, who you are really mad at. And when you get that out your system and you get that out your heart, 
you're going to raise them kids and they're going to be so successful and beautiful. And you're going to look back and you're going to be like, what was I ever mad at? 